we're looking at men's and women's brains and how they react differently when it comes to helping others. Yes, there's a study for that. And today our Dr. Parth and Andy looks at how they differ and how women are more sharing oriented than men. Researchers in Europe devised experiments to see how dopamine could influence behavior in men and women. Now, dopamine is a feel-good neurotransmitter located in our brains that controls communication and is released during happy times. When it comes to sharing money, the study found that in the brain's normal state, women were more likely to share, while us men were less likely to do so. When the brain's normal dopamine system was disrupted through the use of a drug given to subjects, the results flipped. Men became more generous while women acted more selfishly. Now, brain imaging also showed that women experienced high levels of dopamine when doing something for others. Compared to men, this brain activity was much stronger when it came to making pro-social decisions. Now, we don't know if this behavior is learned or hardwired. Regardless, if you're male or female, anyone can make conscious decisions to help others and still benefit emotionally. So, here are my prescriptions. Number one, you don't need to make grand gestures as you can gain happiness with small actions of kindness. Try holding the door open for a stranger, complimenting a co-worker, right? Or buying someone's coffee. Also donate to charity, important causes, food banks or local shelters. You can give money or offer items from home that you no longer need. Also try volunteering in your community. By helping others in need, you'll get a fresh perspective on your own life and what's important to you. And finally, be sure to give positive feedback to young boys and men for pro-social behavior. Girls often your praise for helping others, which could potentially train the dopamine-based system to reward the brain for this behavior. Now, with different expectations placed on males and females, it's not surprising that men and women's brains appear to run differently. But we can all cultivate compassion uh, towards each other while reaping multiple health benefits, which I love. You can lower blood pressure, lessen stress, ease depression, all while raising your own self-esteem. For the Now Detroit, I'm Dr. Partha Nandy. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Nandy, as always.